not that way. <laughs> okay. Just a couple more minutes and then we'll get started. I'll hit record um, and all of that good stuff. Perfect. We are streaming live. I'm going to stream this in the one more place. I'll just share it over. Um, so we're getting the word out about HoneyBook today because let's face it, having something that like takes, you know, care of the autumn, some of the automation and all that stuff for you is it's like incredible. So for those of you who do hop on in here on Facebook, you guys may want to consider clicking the link and getting your questions answered because we will be over on the Zoom call. So you'll definitely want to hop over and join us on Zoom. So let's dig in. I will close the video. Well, not close it, but pop it down. And uh, I want to introduce all of you guys. Hang on, let me hit record first. Okay, I wanted to introduce all of you guys to Catherine. She's coming to us from the education team over at HoneyBook. Um, I'm really, really excited because I think it's really actually kind of a cool thing. Oh, someone's trying to call me. I think it's actually a really cool thing that you guys offered to help us with the training instead of just kind of leaving us to our own, our own devices to try to figure it out on our own. <laughs> because here's the thing. Sometimes we just have questions, right? And, oh, if I could get that, that decline call. Sorry, guys. Sometimes we just have questions about things as they come up. Sometimes we just want to know, like, is this really the right fit for us? So before we jump in and we're like, oh, yeah, I need to get this thing just because Amy told me it was really awesome, I figure everybody, if they're like me at all, which I think most of the people who are part of my network are like me, I feel like, you know, sometimes I just have a question or two before they dig in and get started. Hey, everybody, as you start to pop on here live in the Zoom call, feel free to say hi, put your name in the chat, and uh, before I turn it over to Catherine to get us started on this training, what we're going to do is we're going to just post all of our questions in the chat so that we don't forget them. But I want her to be able to get through all of the stuff that she has laid out for us. Um, because if she's anything like me and has a squirrel driving inside of her head, then she'll get distracted. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just post all of our questions in the comment thread here in Zoom. And um, we'll come back to those at the end. So, Catherine, I'm going to turn it over to you. Tell us a little bit about HoneyBook. Tell us that, you know, kind of how it's the all-in-one solution for a creative or a coach or, you know, somebody in this type of industry. Sure, absolutely. And thanks so much for the introduction, Amy, and great to meet all of you guys, I guess, virtually today. Um, so if you're not familiar with HoneyBook, we are exactly what Amy said, a client management tool that is going to help you first uh, keep track of all of your clients. So a place to stay organized with their contact information so you can always get a hold of them, but then really help you manage the back end of your business. So what do we mean by that? Making sure that none of your leads fall through the cracks, uh, making sure that you're able to send invoices or contracts to them seamlessly. And then on the flip side, giving them a really easy, seamless experience in terms of signing a contract for you online or paying you online. We also have amazing bookkeeping tools. So if that's something that you kind of hash together through spreadsheets on your own, but it always feels like an extra step for you, everything is automated through HoneyBook. We have templates so that you don't have to recreate the wheel every time you send a client something. And then also some awesome email workflow automation so that really your business can run while you're out, you know, maybe doing one of those training sessions or a coaching session or even just picking up your kids from school. 
Um, so that's kind of HoneyBook at a high level. But I think um, the way all of those tools really resonate is by walking through the platform and allowing them to allowing you to see them visually, uh, so that you can actually think about your business and think about how you could fit your business into this tool. So we'll go ahead and get started with that right now. Um, what we have here is your home screen. And you can see a quick summary of the tools that I more or less just mentioned and that we'll dive into a little bit deeper as we go through this. But starting on the left, um, high level about any of your projects. Do you have new inquiries that have come in? Do you have any activity in those inquiries? So did someone send you an email? Did someone sign your contract? You can see that right here. Uh, calendar function, if you have anything in your calendar, that would pop up today. Some basics around your bookkeeping. Task management, what in the world do you need to do today? And then your reporting. How much money are you making this year? So let's go ahead and pop into the project view. So that what you have going right here. Running across the top, all of the details in your planning process. So think about this as a high level snapshot of anything starting with an inquiry going all the way through to complete it. And you can customize this. So you just pop in to customize and you're actually able to change the text in any of these um, stages. So it's really set up to be relevant for your business and not anyone else's. Below that are going to be all of your active projects or clients. And there's two ways that a project can get into HoneyBook. So for those of you with a website, you can actually link your website to HoneyBook with the contact form. What you do is pop into this section right here. You set up all of these questions as you want them to appear on your website. You click this embed code and you view the code. Now, one of the great things about HoneyBook that Amy mentioned is not only do we walk you through the platform to let you know the capabilities of it, but we also help you set it up. So if you have no idea how to put code into your website, that's no problem at all. You can literally email us right from here. We'll take the code and we'll get it into your website for you so you don't have to worry about it. What that does, once the code is embedded in your website, a client fills out all of the details of that contact form. And from there, everything automatically pushes into HoneyBook. You also get an email notification letting you know you've got a new inquiry and you can um, respond to the details there. The second way that you can get a project or a client into HoneyBook is by clicking plus new project. What you'll do there is add a project title. So we'll say Catherine's Fitness Program. You'll be able to change your own project types right here. So you'll go ahead and make those relevant for your business. Next step would be adding in your client's contact details. So um, if you wanna put in their email, you can do that right here. You can add their full name, as well as a phone number, mailing address, and any private notes that you have about them. Then you're all set. You've got a workspace set up for Catherine. You can see you are right here. Your client is right here. And this is where you can start communicating with them. So if you like to email back and forth, this is a great place to do it. All of your messages stack right here, one on top of the next. Um, we have a really great Gmail integration for those of you that use Gmail. What happens when you have that integration set up is any messages that you send through HoneyBook are actually saved in your Gmail sent box. They'll go into your client's email inbox looking like they came exactly from your email. There's no HoneyBook alias or anything like that. Your client can respond directly, their message saves as the next message in the feed, and then also goes into your email inbox. If you don't use Gmail, no problem. Um, really, the only main difference is that the message isn't saved in your Gmail sent box. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the files you can send through HoneyBook. Um, if you like your clients to send questionnaires, you're actually able to send those questionnaires to our concierge team when you first get started with HoneyBook, and they'll build the templates for you so you don't have to worry about it. You would just click this questionnaire button when you're ready to send one to your client. Your templates will pull up, and you select the template you want to use. They're able to fill that out online and send it right back to you. If you don't have any templates, but you think this is something that maybe you want to do or should start doing, you can always create them in a one-off client situation. Um, and then if you really like a questionnaire, save it as one of your templates. The next really cool feature that I want to highlight is our brochure, or better known as our price list. And this is a really great file because it's actually interactive. It allows your client to see all of your different packages or offerings, and they can select which one they want to use, um, and you don't have to do anything other than send them this. So here's a great place for you to introduce your business and why you're excited to work with them. And then this is the way that you would detail out all of your different packages. So what they're going to get for the package as well as the price. You can customize these headers with your own images that you would save in HoneyBook. And this I'm interested button is where the interactive piece comes into play. Your client's able to click on that. When they do, you get an email notification letting you know that they're interested in your course. A really cool feature, actually, HoneyBook grabs all of their information, the details of this package, and we put them all into a proposal for you. Now, the proposal doesn't send on its own, but it does do that initial creation. And we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look at the proposal and actually create one together. So that's new file and then proposal. And you would go ahead, select blank proposal. Now, just so you know, the proposal combines three components. First is the package or the services that you're providing. Second is your payment plan. And then third is your contract. Again, um, just as we'll help you set up questionnaire templates, we'll also help you set up any sort of package templates. So if you wanna send us details around your pricing and the fitness plans or the coaching plans that you offer, you can send us all of those when you join and we'll put them in the system for you so that when you click this plus new item, all of them will just pop up on their own and you don't have to worry about the input. We'll go ahead and select this monthly personal training package. And I created this um, for you guys just to get a quick glimpse at how you can set this up. In this example, um, it's a monthly personal training package and it's someone that does four sessions a month and each session is $75. So that'll be a total of 300 for the month. Here's some of the details of what's included in those 60 minute sessions. Again, all of this is customizable to you and what you provide to your clients. Um, you'll send us that, we'll build it, but the great thing is you can always edit it. So if this is a template, for example, but you wanted to take out one of these details, you can just click delete. Uh, if you want to change the details of the header, you can do that as well as pricing. It's really easy to take that template and then edit. So once we've got our package set, it's time to arrange the payments. You can set this up in two different ways, whatever works best for your business. One, you can schedule them and actually put the amount that you want paid for each payment and then pop the date in. You can also do a recurring payment where here, let's say the client said, we want four sessions a month, every single month for the next five months. So you'll be charging them $300 starting on September 12th, every single month, and you can select an end date or you can just keep billing them. And we'll go through what the billing section looks like in just a second. But just know it's really easy to um, set up your payments either of those ways. And then the last component is the contract. 
So for those of you that are using a contract already, again, you can send us your contract. We'll build it into your templates for you. If you don't have a contract but are thinking, wow, I really should start using a contract, HoneyBook actually comes with some contracts built in for you. We've worked with a lawyer to draft them. I would of course always recommend you read through them, make sure all of the components are applicable to your business, but this is a way to really just give you a head start and not have to use an outside lawyer um, if you don't wanna incur that cost, but are looking to have things a little bit more buckled up in terms of the legal side of things. The nice thing about HoneyBook is that we also have these auto-populate fields that can go into your contracts. So for example, um, the payment information can pop in, details around your client as well, and you're ready to send this off um, with just a couple clicks. You'll be able to click review email, type the email that you want to send to your client with the proposal. They'll get that email in their inbox and um, they'll open it, the link, and they'll be taken to a page that looks just like this. They don't need a password or a login. We want this to be really seamless for them. So they can see all of the details of the package, including that they're paying you, you know, four sessions a month, $75 each session for a total of 300. They're going to see it's a reoccurring payment. Um, starting on September 12th, and they're prompted to go to the contract next. So through the contract, they can see all of your terms and conditions. They're able to go down to the signature line where they can just click and sign. Um, they can also sign with their finger if they're on a mobile device, so really easy for them to execute. They're going to see that payment again, and they're prompted to pay you right away. So this takes care of um, you know, any sort of follow-up communication or them putting a check in the mail. Everything happens seamlessly right now. So what they can do is either pay you by credit card or bank transfer. They would just enter in their credit card right here, and it can be any major credit card, including American Express. There's going to be a 3% transaction fee on that. They can also pay you with bank transfer, and this is a really seamless process. It basically just prompts them to log in to their online bank, and the um, payment is already teed up for you. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at a couple other features. And again, if you have any questions on that proposal process, please feel free to write them into the chat box and we'll come back to them at the end. Um, one last thing, if you're not interested in using a contract, we also do have a straight invoice file. This looks exactly like the proposal, except it doesn't have a contract at the end. So you would just add in your package right here. You would set up your payment schedule and then you would send it in an email. So just know that both of those options exist depending on how you like to work with your clients. A couple other tools to touch on, um, reporting and bookkeeping. I know this can be such a hassle for everyone, which is why HoneyBook tries to make it as easy as possible, especially come tax season. So first right here, um, a few different bar charts, pie charts, and snapshots for you to see how your business is performing. So the yellow bars indicate how many proposals or invoices you sent out, and then the green bars tell you how many of those people actually booked. Below that, you can see a quick snapshot of the value of your payments. And then this is a really cool feature. Um, how did your clients hear about you? You can either add this as a question to your contact form, or you can manually add it into the workspace. As the details are populated, so is this pie chart. And then you, we can even take it a step further and you can download a CSV and see how many dollars attributed to each lead source were actually booked. So if you're advertising in a channel and you're not seeing anyone hear about you from that channel, maybe your advertising dollars aren't well spent. And then lastly are your monthly or analytic reports. 
where you can download um, all of the details of each of your payments. You can do it on a monthly or a yearly basis. You can use this for your tax purposes. You can send it to your accountant. We'll detail every single payment by line item and then include all of the details around that payment. Um, another great feature, of course, is the calendar. You're going to be able to add in all of your sessions in here. We also show you any of your payment due dates. This is going to sync with your Google Calendar. So for those of you using Google, everything that you have in Google can just push right into HoneyBook, vice versa on that as well. And then the last tool that I want to point out is your workflows. And this is a great way, as I mentioned at the beginning, to automate your business. Um, what you can do is create a series of tasks and emails for yourself um, that remind you uh, of things to do for a particular client or have an email automatically grow, go out. So here's an example of um, an inquiry coming in right away, an email goes out saying, thanks so much for your inquiry, please take a look at my questionnaire. And by the way, all of the emails will be written by you and saved in your email template section. So it's your voice, it's your brand, it's your communication. And your client can fill that questionnaire out online, it can come right back to you. Um, you know, maybe three days after that, you have another email that goes out reminding them that they sent that questionnaire. And then a few days after that, you've got a task. Now, the nice thing about the automation is you can set it all up, but we still want you to have control over it. So you can see everything that's meant to happen in your task management tool. And that's right here. Any task that you set up through a workflow will show up here. You can also always just manually add a task and then you can connect it to a project. All of the email automation also shows up right here. And the great thing about that is you can either just click send it if you know you want it to go out. If you need to view and edit it, maybe you talk to the client and the email needs to be slightly different, you can click view and edit. Or if you need to just pop it in the trash, you can take care of that right there as well. So you can see all of your tasks and emails here in the task management tool. You can also see them when you're in the actual project. That's going to be over on your right hand panel right here. Uh, so just another great way to stay organized with all of your to do's. So now it's probably a good spot to pause and take any questions. Um, Amy, have we had any come through in the chat? Yes, I had myself on mute just in case we had any um, any sort of wacky background noise. Let's. Um, I'm going to cancel your screen share for just a second. Hold Perfect. on. I'll go back. Maybe if it will let me. Um, I can cancel it from my end. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Then we can kind of see everybody. Um, and then if you click chat, it'll pop up. It should pop up your chat bar. Great. I started writing down things that like were coming in and that I was thinking of too. But I know like um, a couple of the girlies on here also live in Canada. Um, I know this is like a U.S. Canada based product. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the questions was, are the legal terms valid for international use outside of the U.S.? Ah, that's a great question. So the contract was definitely drafted um, for US based clients. That being said, um, I would definitely recommend reading it. What we end up finding is a lot of our members that don't have contracts, go ahead and take the HoneyBook contract, find the sections that they like and feel are applicable, and then they do a little bit of their own Google research as well, and maybe add sections or tweak the language a little bit. Um, at the end of the day, the contract is really just for you to cover all of your bases. Um, and like I said, a lot of our members that don't have a contract use a combination of the HoneyBook contract and some of their own just Google sleuthing. Um, and can you give us kind of a rundown? I know that there are numerous contracts available. I know there's like a basic like coaching contract. There's an events contract, which I know Alicia's on here 
and mm -hmm. Nicole, they, um, they also do events. So I know that that's kind of a big deal, you know, like kind of like taking the liability off yourself if someone loses their luggage or falls at the airport and breaks their leg or whatever, um, you know, or, or a hurricane happens to be blowing through and the event gets canceled or, you know, something like that. So I know that there are, are a handful of different, you know, I don't want to call them like stock contracts, but basic contracts that come with your with yeah, the program so absolutely so when you first start your honeybook trial one of the first questions that we ask is um what type of professional are you and from there we're able to figure out what information is most relevant to be pre-populated into your account so make sure when you go ahead and click on that link that um amy posted at the top of the chat that's where you can kick off your honeybook trial and like I said, one of the questions in that initial intake form, including like your name and email and business name is what type of professional you are. So based on that information, um, we're able to populate your account with a contract and other templates that are relevant. So there might be some package templates in there as well um, that include some kind of broad industry pricing, um, ideas on how to set up packages, contracts that are more relevant. So exactly like you were saying, any liability on certain things, you'll find that relevant information depending on which um, profession, professional vertical you choose. And then like for my account, you guys uploaded my existing contracts for exactly. me. So yeah. So you can send those. We have a whole kind of like startup link um, where you're able to just drop your contracts, um, your packages, as well as your questionnaires. And don't worry if you're still working through things about it not being perfect. It's really easy to edit your templates once we've set them up. So I would always recommend, you know, get the information in there. Don't view this as like a roadblock get it in and then you can always edit it if something changes tomorrow, six months from now or a year okay. from now. And you can use like a combination. So say you have your own privacy policy, you can use your own privacy policy, but you want to use your events contract. You can combine those. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's, I want to start with Nicole's questions um, in case she has to pop off and then we'll get to the questions that I was bringing in. Um, what is the timeline uh, to get the initial setup done for templates, templates and questionnaires? Yeah, so this is a great question, um, and it really is all about HoneyBook's concierge team. So from the time you join HoneyBook and you want that to be built, as soon as you drop that information into the link, it takes them anywhere from a day to max three days, depending on how much information you send across. Um, usually we're in the one to two day range. It's only for kind of like massive projects that we need the extra day. Um, and then in relation to the concierge team as well, um, and the whole client experience with HoneyBook, when you first start a trial, you're assigned a product specialist. The product specialist will do another walkthrough very similar to this if you're interested. If not, you can always just tell them you've already gone through one and you're good, but they're there to answer any questions for you. So they'll be your go-to contact for those seven days that you're in a trial. From there, our concierge team has awesome new member orientations. They're live webinars. You sign up online for them. And we have a couple different versions of them. We have the you know, first basic 101 where they help you with all of your other setup stuff. How to put in your logo. Did you get your bank information in correctly? Um, all of those just nitty gritty details to make sure your account is as professional as possible. And then they also have office hours. If you feel like you need a little extra help, um, you can sign up for office hours and they'll walk you through your questions. And all of Therapy. this comes, it's just yeah. part of your service. You don't have to pay extra. You got it. Um, and there, the concierge team is also available seven days a week for support questions. You can email them either at concierge at honeybook.com or once you've joined, there's a little question mark icon that floats in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You can click that and do a live chat with them. 
um, or email them as well through there. We also have a YouTube channel um, and a help center. So we really try and make things as seamless as possible. Perfect, perfect. Um, Terry wants to know, do you integrate with PayPal? So no PayPal integration, Terry. And the reason for that is we want the process for payments to be as seamless as possible for your clients. We find that sometimes offering too many options can confuse them. It can delay the process. Um, also, HoneyBook really has your back in watching all of um, the payments and making sure that your bank information is secure. So we use a 2FA secure process, meaning when you first set up your bank information, um, there's a text message that goes to your phone number to ensure that it is you. We monitor for fraudulent payments, and if there's any dispute on a payment, HoneyBook will always work with you and never just pull money from your account because a client said they shouldn't pay you. Um, we have your back on that, and if you bring in other platforms, we can't guarantee that level of support and dedication to our members. Okay. Um, Nicole has another question, but I'm gonna save that one um, for just a few minutes. I have a couple questions before we get to Nicole's, and they kind of lead into it, no way. Um, so one is you had kind of pointed out that yes, you can put your own branding, your logo, your everything can go into your HoneyBook. So that way when you send a contract, it's got your, you know, your nice little logo or watermark or whatever on, mm -hmm. on your contract, which I think is really cool. And you can put in your colors and all of that stuff too, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, all that, yeah, all of that branding is customizable for you. So the brochures... I kind of was thinking about it like this is I love that it will kind of almost like preview everything that you put in there that you offer that you want to put in there. Um, is there a way to link that back to your website? Like is there, it, does it, does that page have its own unique domain? So it's not going to have its own unique domain because it's that interactive piece mm -hmm. where your client can click on it um, and tell you what they want. Okay. But what you can do to automate things a bit is you can set up those workflows like I showed you at the very end. And your first um, workflow sequence can be an email saying, hey, thanks so much for the inquiry. And that can fully be automated when you get an inquiry from your contact form. And in that email, you can attach your brochure and say, I've attached my brochure, take a look at my different packages. Got it. So there is that element of automation where it can go out without you having to really think about it. Okay. Um, hold on one second. I think you've answered almost all of my questions then. Um, Hold on. I know Nicole had another one. Okay. So kind of the cool thing about this is so a couple of the girls on here work in network marketing. And one of the cool things that I am seeing about this is that it could be an affordable way to help them follow up with new clients and even follow up with their downline team by setting them up in some of those like those workflows, those sequences, right? Where they're yeah. getting different things that just kind of go out on autopilot, right? Mm -hmm. Whether or not they collect pay, I mean, collecting payments totally optional. There's no additional cost to collect payment. So yeah. if they don't want to use it, they don't have to. Yeah, so um, if you have basically people that you want to communicate with on a regular basis or send them, um, you know, just kind of like, check-in emails you can absolutely set up a workflow that you know maybe it goes for half of a year and you have it set for once a month and you can have unique emails you know for each of those six emails that you decide and essentially you would get that inquiry in okay. and you would just drop them into the workflow that tees up those emails okay um, also, one other note on that, we do have a batch email function for people that have the Gmail integration. So if you do have some sort of mass email, you can send that through HoneyBook to contacts you have in HoneyBook as well. 
Oh, that makes it nice. Okay, cool. Um, so this brings me into Nicole's question then. Because we have a lot of people who are, you know, either an independent coach or like business coaches, but we also have network marketing. Um, so say like Jane, I'm going to pick on Jane. Jane is a Beachbody coach. So as she grows her downline and she's telling people like, hey, I use this program called HoneyBook and this is where I run my trainings through. This is where I run my different stuff through. Um, go ahead. You should check it out. I mean, it's super affordable, blah, blah, blah. There's also a way for Jane to get an affiliate payment for that as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what we have is a really awesome referral program. And what you're able to do um, through the referral program when you join, you're able to get your own unique link. And when you first join, you're able to give um, a 20% discount to anyone that signs up using your link and then we directly deposit forty dollars into your bank account um, for that person once they sign up with HoneyBook. Now once you've transacted over two thousand dollars on the platform um, you become what we call one of our super users which is awesome and once you become a super user, you're actually able to give a 50% discount and um, we give you $200 for the referral. So it's a really awesome way to get some passive income for sure. Okay, so um, Nicole's question, um, and I, I get what she's saying because she uses um, a lot like me, she uses ClickFunnels to run through like her programs like that don't necessarily require a contract like you know like if she's gonna teach a course or something like that and it's just gonna be a program and then takes them into a membership site and whatever um, so her question is is how will this function alongside of having an email system for an email list because right now I know like Nicole uses active campaign I use um, Infusionsoft so essentially could I and I'm just totally thinking like outside the box. Could I dump Infusionsoft, like break up with them and just integrate all my contacts into HoneyBook and work in that way? Because the only thing I use Infusionsoft for is sending email. Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, we have an integration with MailChimp. So if you use MailChimp, you can integrate that. But mm -hmm. the Infusionsoft, you know what, I'm not, we don't, I don't believe we have an active integration with them unless they have a Zapier API key. Oh, they know. do. Okay, then, um, then we probably can do an integration with them. I'm not entirely sure what that looks like. That's probably a great question for the concierge team. Okay. Um, but in terms of like importing your contacts, that's no problem. You just upload a CSV to your client section of HoneyBook and you're able to pull all your contacts. Okay, so like for me, because like I said, I only, well, the way it kind of works for me is I have ClickFunnels, so they come through and they get like my freebie, which would be like, um, you know, that first brochure and then it would email them, you know, a PDF file or a video mm -hmm. or a checklist or a free training or whatever, right? So I yeah. feel like that's kind of the same thing that you could get, by doing that um, that brochure in that way, but then sometimes it also gives them the chance, and maybe so it gives them a chance to set up a tripwire or something like that, where you can say like, oh, for another for the next twenty minutes, also get this for ten dollars, and then it you know then it spits them over into you know Infusionsoft, Mailchimp, Active Campaign, whatever, and lets them you know puts them into your email sequence from there because they've opted in to your to your list, right, to, to get your freebie. Um, I'm just trying to, Nicole. Yeah, so I think if you're using sort of like that level of email marketing in mm -hmm. that sense, I don't think you would want to give up Infusionsoft or something like that um, just because those add-ons like you mentioned and the links. Um, HoneyBook will be great for that more um, like personal communication with each client um, and getting to the proposal process, sending your brochure and services and any questionnaires. 
Um, but you may, for those more like mass marketing emails, want to stick with those programs. Okay. Okay. All right. So even if you have something like MailChimp, even the free version, you could just integrate it then. And that's kind of a non-issue yeah. then. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And so Gina's asking for the referral. Does that come as income or does it come as credit to future use? Cash money, 40 bucks in your bank account. <laughs> so that's kind of a neat thing to add. Even if you're MLM and you want to start integrating this, you know, as just like your CRM, you know, a way to track your clients, a way to track your customers, you can then implement like, so like I'll pick on Jane because she's next to me on the screen. Like Jane could go through and be like, I talked to Amy, Alicia, Tiffany, and Mallory today. I need to send them a follow-up email in three days. But she could have that whole workflow thing set up. So it's like, okay, you go into this, like, whatever you want to call it. The workspace, yeah. The, yeah, this workspace as a prospect. And then in three days, I'm going to follow up with you. But she can set it up to automatically follow up with them in three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And the nice thing is when we were looking at that project view in HoneyBook um, and you split up you know, the different stages of your process running across the top. The first section is inquiry. And so if a client hasn't moved out of that inquiry stage, you can always click in there and make sure that you've addressed and communicated with that person so that they don't fall to the bottom of your email box without you having answered their questions. Okay, okay, um, hang on one second. So, hang on. <laughs> Great for one on clients. Oh, so you can even do active campaign. It starts at nine dollars a month. So, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys um, that um, Honeybook has agreed to do for all of you guys who sign up. Not only will they get the will you guys get the free trial, which um, is pretty standard, but instead of getting a 20% off discount, they've agreed to extend that to a 50% off discount. So you're looking at $17 a month for the first year. So that's cheaper than active campaign. That hopefully they don't like strike me dead or something. <laughs> um, it's cheaper than active campaign. And it, you know, if you're not quite ready for something like a ClickFunnels, this is probably a good way to get your feet in the door, right? Of, you know, of automation of, and this is cheaper than that Teamsy thing that you guys are talking about too, because I had that once and um, this is better. I like the, what you guys offer is a little bit different than Teamsy. That's just strictly like client tracking. Pretty much. Yes, I was going to say what we hope HoneyBook does is um, a variety of things. Right. So the idea that you use all of these different platforms to manage your business, you know, whether it's a CRM system that just keeps track of your client and then you have, you know, some sort of task management tool and a calendar tool and maybe something where you collect payments. The idea of HoneyBook is that it brings it all into one place so that you're not logging into all of these different places. Things are slipping through the cracks because right. you forget to log in somewhere. This brings it all into one platform. And I like that it includes your calendar because I totally live yeah. by my calendar. If I didn't put it on my calendar, I would definitely forget about like all the things, like everything I would forget about it. Yeah. And then, you know, one thing that I just wanted to, to bring up um, that I forgot to mention in terms of do we accept PayPal um, and talking about the payments. If a client ever pays you by cash or check or some other means, that's totally fine. We understand that and we would never want you to lose sight of that payment in your accounting in HoneyBook. So you can always manually mark a payment as paid. There's a little section in your payment schedule that you just click on and you say the date that they paid you and how they paid you and all of your accounting still flows through there. Okay. Yeah. And Nicole was just saying that Teamsy was almost 50 bucks a month. So this yeah. is, you get way more for way less. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. 
<laughs> and I don't think that they offered any kind of referral stuff. <laughs> oh, good. So that's kind of cool. Oh, Nicole says they didn't. I remember using them, but I never, I mean, I never referred it out or anything like that. And um, I stopped using them. So, <laughs> um, no, that I think it's really cool. And I think that, um, okay, Alicia says that she absolutely love, love, loves this. And she uses somebody similar. I won't, I won't say who. Um, so I'm glad to hear that positive feedback. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I'll say, oh, she's switching. <laughs> uh, one thing that I'm going to say that I've found being superior about HoneyBook, um, and the reason that I wanted to actually share it with you guys is one, that they were willing to hop on and do this video with us. Um, but this just kind of sets, like, I just want to give you guys that this is just like the icing on the cake. Like I have a personal concierge. Her name is Katie and I have her email and I have her phone number and we email back and forth and she, um, She's actually waiting on me, but <laughs> to finish setting up all my stuff and getting it all active. But she's my point of contact. It's not watch this video, watch this video, watch this video, watch this video. It's not all about that. Yes, they do have the live trainings, which are awesome. But for me, and, you know, the services that I offer, I kind of, I don't know, I, 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 I'm all about like the customer service and having a quick response and getting what I need when I need it instead of, well, you have to wait two weeks to get on the next training or on the next webinar or whatever. I like that that people, that personal interaction that you have with people. And I like that I have that interaction. Like my contacts are Catherine and Katie. Like they're my people. Like I don't know everybody else at HoneyBook. I don't know anybody else at no, HoneyBook. To be, either. <laughs> to, yeah, but I don't need to because I have my two points of contact. Like, you know, I've got Catherine on the education team and then I have Katie as my concierge and I'm fully taken care of. So I thought that that was really cool. I thought that it was really cool that they took the time to do this for us instead of just being like, oh, we'll just set you up like with some affiliate referral link and you just get out there and do all the work yourself. Like not to say that I wouldn't, but this makes it so much easier because these guys have questions that I didn't know the answer to. Like, mm. you know, and, and I'm, I don't work for HoneyBook. So it makes it so much nicer to have that actual, you know, go to contact. I think. Yeah. And Amy, to that point as well, um, we also have a really engaged Facebook community. So as a HoneyBook member, you can join the Facebook group and our members actually write in questions to that all the oh. time. And, you know, obviously there's people that are total pros at HoneyBook and they're really active and involved on that Facebook group and they love to help other members. So they chime in right away and say, oh, you know, you can do this just by doing that. Or sometimes we even say, see them say, hey, do you want to hop on a call? I'm happy to help you. Mm -hmm. uh, so people are really awesome and engaged in that Facebook group as well, helping each other out. Awesome. So awesome. Um, yeah. So I think that's really, really, really a neat thing. And I know that you guys, you know, do a lot. Uh, HoneyBook is actually one of our sponsors for Cabo. So we're super excited about that. So you guys will have a little something to look forward to when we get down there. For those of you who are going, I know Tiffany will be there. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm just super excited about all of this. I'm super excited to start like I said, I've been, I've only been signed up with you guys for a short time. So I'm just getting all of my stuff like through the final setup stages, but I'm so super excited about it. You guys, like all my contracts are already in there. Everything's already set up my terms of use, all of that stuff. Oh, that was one of the other questions, terms of use. So like when we're selling like a digital project product or like a course or something, maybe it's already pre-recorded or whatever. And we want to put in, so like Right now, I've been using ClickFunnels, and so I've wanted to put, I put in a little thing, you know, it has the link to my privacy policy, and then it says terms of use, basically saying, like, don't copy my stuff, don't resell it, don't blah, blah, you know, all that official stuff. Um, there's, like, a little checkbox. Is there a way to put that kind of, like, little thing in before they check out, um, or does it have to have a signature? Um, well, so if you need, there's not, like, a checkbox. It would need to be a signature. Okay. You have a link to a different page that offers, you know, posting your terms of use. You can always put a link in one of your emails, just like a regular email. Okay, yeah, and my terms of use uploaded, so it's no big deal, so they can just sign it um, yeah. at the checkout. Yeah, Okay. perfect. Cool. Yeah. 
And then just so everyone knows, I think I may have mentioned this at the beginning, but if you, um, if and when you sign up for the trial using the link that Amy posted, um, you will be contacted by a product specialist. One of them, you know, was the, the individual that helped Amy. So her name's Katie. There's a handful of other ones. So they'll reach out to you to see if you want to schedule a call with them to go through any more questions. Definitely take advantage of that. Um, they're awesome. They're a great resource and they're there to help you in any way um, to make the process as easy and seamless for you as possible. Yeah, I, I found that call to be really helpful in with me making the decision because I had a few other questions because I'm like this super weirdo like researcher. So I had all these questions about like, well, what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And some of the questions that like even were asked today, I didn't even think of those, but I had a million other questions beforehand. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, no, I really like that. I really like I really like the price point. Like I'm not even gonna lie, you know, 17 bucks a month for the first year. Like I love that. And then the normal price is $34. So I mean, still super, super affordable, even at full price. Um, especially considering you get all of your legal documents that you need. And um, one thing to mention is um, HoneyBook. We I spoke with Catherine before. They are rolling out a GDPR compliant pi privacy policy. It's coming soon. It's in the works right now. So that's something that you can expect as well. Yep. Because <laughs> that was one of my questions. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. And in the meantime, um, you can also always just manually delete a contact from HoneyBook if something were to come up where you needed to do that. So. Okay. Um, Nicole, I think you asked the timeline for that. Um, I believe we should have it by the end of the year. So the next three months or so. I can't believe we're already saying the end of the year. I know. I, you just said that. I'm like, gosh, that's kind of a long time away, but it's actually not. <laughs> well, good. Any more questions before we let Katie go? Or Katie, Catherine, do you ever get called Katie or am I the only one that screws it up? <laughs> it's a popular name. <laughs> Anybody else have anything? Nope, Jane, you're good. Tiffany, you have any questions? Melissa, Gina, Laura Lee, Alicia, Mallory? <laughs> well, I just want to make sure that we, I mean, obviously you guys can get me the questions um, or you can sign up for the trial and get your own questions answered directly on your own little personal call, um, which I think yeah. is kind of cool. I like that you guys do that. Yeah, <laughs> good. Alrighty, well, if that's everything, then we will go ahead and pop off of here. You guys um, have a great day. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone. It was great to meet you, and um, I'll let the team know to look out for you with starting those trials. We're really excited to hopefully work with you. Yay! <laughs> okay, everybody.